Hello and welcome to Let's Play Solaris 1.6 Adam's Utopia. Unfortunately, the galaxy seems to be in kind of a stagnant state right now with these three large empires consuming this portion of the galaxy. I'm not sure what or if anything will ever happen to upset the balance here. But, I mean, there's really no one else we can go to war with, unfortunately. But we can keep on expanding and get get strong, get big and strong, and then we can go after some of these larger empires, maybe, if they... Unless, of course, they stay ahead of us this entire time. So, we're going to go to our sanctuary ring world, that... Our ring world. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these mushroom people. We're going to change their rights. What are we going to do? We're going to change their slavery type to livestock. And that means we're going to eat them. Because I look at them, they're mushrooms. They're delicious, no doubt. So they just produce a flat amount of food. Three food right now. So we're just going to put them on those empty tiles. And they're going to create food for us. So, well, we're going to eat them, that is. And also, we're not going to let them reproduce. I mean, you know, they, they can reproduce enough so that they don't die off. But it'll stop them from spreading to other squares, which is what we want to stop. We don't want this fungal infection to proceed. See, they just disappeared. Now now we can just eat them. We'll, pro we'll probably purge them eventually. But, but that is good. And now my own people is getting 100% of the population growth on this planet. Okay, we're also going to do some terraforming. So one of the changes between 1.5 and 1.6 is that you can terraform inhabited planets. Normally you can't do that. And, but now you can with certain technology. I do not have the technology, though. I need to get ecological adaptation in order to do that. And so I think eventually I'm going to eliminate the this offshoot of Terran that I've created that's adapted to Alpine Worlds. I'm thinking I'll probably... Because, uh, you know, I, I know in the previous episode I was making a big deal about how I didn't care if the Terran Supremacy faction was unhappy about Terran impurity. But, um, maybe, maybe I do care. Maybe I would like to fix that turn impurity. So if we get the technology to colonize these types of worlds, I could change this to a savanna world, and I could return these people back to savanna preference, maybe, or maybe they'll die off in the terraforming process. I don't know. We'll see. So let, let us, let us colonize, or let, let us terraform some planets. We got some planets that be, might be nice to colonize, like this alpine world here. Hmm, let's see, what do we got? Tundra world, like, I, I could colonize this alpine world with my alpine terrans, but I don't want to do that. Let's terraform it to be a savanna world. It's gonna cost us 850 energy and take 300... 3600 days. So that, that's a long time. Who, who knows how long that is? It's incalculable. So we recently won a war. We have a new vassal. We, we should think about outward expansion as well. Like here is a size 20 Arctic world. We should build a frontier outpost around here and start colonizing that or terraforming that planet as well. Let's get our construction ship out there. We need to be looking after the interests of our people, and part of that involves expanding aggressively. Perhaps we should finish... we should probably invade the other sections of Sanctuary. Oh! After achieving complete domination over Tijel, Tijel polit political leadership, our military cells have successfully paved the way for the arrival of our first contact unit. In a lavish ceremony held on a new planetary capital, our diplomatic envoy graciously accepted a petition signed by every world leader on Sanctuary A, calling for the planet's immediate annexation into the Citizen Council on Galactic Unity. Jubilant citizens are crowding the streets, cheering their new alien benefactors. Excellent. And now they are all enslaved. Ha ha. And we have a big thumbs up here. 30% happiness for annexation. And I mean, we could purge them all. 
make room for our, our own people. But I think we will... We're going to stop their population growth, is what we're going to do. Population controls enabled. We don't want them reproducing. And we want, we want our own people to migrate here. We can build... So we need to build a reassembled ship shelter. Is there a planetary capital here? I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so this world has everything to see. We can clear out these tiles. And hopefully some of our people will migrate here. And then, and then the guys that are there already, they're, they're fine with the mining and everything. I guess we could upgrade these. Excellent. So now we have Sanctuary A and Sanctuary J. Very good. Another thing to consider is I think it's on Runa. Runa! Yes, there is a pre-sentient... Pre-sentient life here. Now, if we were to... We, we want to uplift them. What kind of traits do they have? They're, they're starborn. Minus 20% minerals, but plus 25% habitability. So that that's pretty good for if I wanted to use them to colonize all kinds of other planets out there. But I wouldn't want to use them for that type of thing. Like, I want to put my own Terrans out there. So we'll probably uplift them eventually, but not right now. I think we have some other pre-sentient civilizations we can deal with as well. Or not pre-sentient, but pre-FTL. Like these guys here, they're in the machine age, so we could also do a covert infiltration. Let's get that going. Yes, this will be also a good slave planet. There's not that much energy, a mediocre amount of research, and then we could throw that into this sector over here. I think that'll be the plan. Oh man, look look at that look at that system right here. There's so many resources I need to be exploiting. I wish construction ships had an auto build feature. Okay, and that should be good. Now we need to be doing I feel like we need to be doing some more surveying. Let us assign... We need a new leader for our science ship. How about... I'll just recruit you because you're cheaper. And we'll put you on... Oh, a colony ship. The CSV Canada. Interesting. I don't know where they're going to colonize. I must have ordered some kind of... There is an orbit around Naranka. I don't know what they're doing. Let's put this science ship on automatic exploration. Oh, research complete. We need to stay on top of that. Let us get core systems plus one. Fine technology. So here's our terror. Yeah, we should be able to see our terraforming projects in here somewhere. There it is. So we're terraforming that world. Once we finish constructing this frontier outpost, we're going to start terraforming this planet as well. <clears throat> and yeah, that's that's about the size of it. Ooh, look at them. They don't need to be doing food. How about some minerals? I know we're weak, but no big deal. Let's see, you know what we should build, though, is a monument. And how's Sanctuary A doing? <clears throat> I'm not sure when or if anyone's gonna migrate here. Maybe we'll need to do the Land of Opportunity. Oh, hyperlane mapping? Let's get the advanced shields. 
And of course, we should be building more ships. What, what's our fleet power at? Only 19k? Yeah, we can fit way more, way, way, way more ships in here. So we have 6 battleships, 20 cruisers, 21 destroyers. Let us actually take a look at our corvette. I've been wanting to redesign my corvettes to have torpedoes. And that's what we will do. And how about a small railgun? Give them some shields. Give them some antimatter power generation. How about an afterburner? Upgrade all these systems as well. Give them this advanced combat computer for the Corvette. One can do additional combat speed. Oh yeah, this one, that's the best one. And let's build a whole mess of Corvettes. We need more Corvettes in our fleet. So that's 10 Corvettes. And we'll just let them go, because th those torpedoes are going to be great for taking out enemy battleships and other large ships. They ignore shields, I believe, but they can be shot down. Okay, we finished this outpost. So we're, at, we're resting at zero influence, which I don't like. I want more influence. This Arctic world, we're going to terraform it to a savanna world. And of course, we construct all the stuff that we need. Everything nice and good. For the glory of the Citizen Council and Galactic Unity. So there's some interesting anomalies that we could be researching. Let us assign another science leader. We'll get this guy. And go here and... Oh man, the system hasn't even been surveyed yet. How about that? And research these anomalies. Thank you. Do we have any special projects? Let us translate these warrior texts. Ah. It's sometimes fun to just sit back and observe, but this system... Oh! Our language experts have been at it for weeks, <laughs> weeks, that's all, to try and translate the documents we found in the old battlefield. Today we finally have some results. We now know that the fallen warriors all followed the teachings of a philosopher called Telesa, the Teller of Tales. The documents are broken down our breakdowns of tactics, strategy, and most importantly, logistics in interstellar warfare. Being a strong spokesperson against war, Telesa still found this to be essential knowledge for steering into the future. Even the most peaceful of people might be forced into a corner, into a corner. Wait, what? Into a corner in their work for a better world. Oh, okay. Oh, research complete. Nice. So we just finished researching living metal. I think next we'll want the impulse thrusters. Special project complete. Okay, we finished Titanic life study. Titanic beasts can now be recruited into our army. And yeah, we can be constructing all the stuff here as well. Okay, so, I mean, we've colonized Naranka. I think this things are going pretty well here. We've also colonized this world. What do we need to do? Well, we need to build a monument, that's for sure. You, get on the monument. Let's build some power plants. And some research. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to basically fill out this entire world with every, everything it needs. You know, power plants. Power plants. We'll also give them some minerals. I mean, why not? Minerals are still important too, even though my people aren't the best at mining them. Okay, 
Give him some basic science labs. Great, and then we're gonna put it into a sector. We're gonna put it into this sector, whatever it's called. I have no idea what it's called. The Rookler Prime Sector. Which is a research sector. They're thinking about constructing a physics lab. Now, now I don't even need to think about that plan. It's just going to do everything automatically. It's going to upgrade everything it needs to upgrade. So one thing that they've added in 1.6 is now you can draw resources out of a sector, out of their stockpile. It costs 100 influence to draw 75% of their minerals and energy. It's like the kind of thing you might want to use in a war. In fact, if you are in a defensive war, the influence cost is only 25. And now you can set the tax rates for energy and minerals separately. So I'm going to let this sector keep more minerals because they they need to, you know, get minerals so they can do all their upgrades and everything. I'll tax them a little bit, though. And I'll keep their energy tax as high as I can because they have tons of energy already. So that's looking pretty good. Same thing here. I'll tax their energy as much as I can. What is this sector for, anyway? They are in a balanced focus, fo focus. Okay, yeah, I'll give them some more minerals to help out with that. And they're not set to redevelop, so maybe that's a problem. Well, I'm sure they'll be fine. Research complete. Okay, so we finished building all of those Corvettes. Research complete. Better shields. Hyper shields. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen next. How does the fleet look? So now we have 29 Corvettes. Awesome. I think we want more cruisers. I think we'll just fill out everything with more cruisers. You know what? I'd like to make contact with... So, So I mean, there's this artisan artist enclave here. One of the enclaves that we've encountered, but I haven't really talked to them yet. And they have two interesting options. We could commission a art piece, which will cost us 1,000 minerals and 25 influence, but lets us build an art monument, which gives a planetary effect of plus 10 happiness and plus 50% migration attraction, which seems like a great deal. So we want to maybe save up a thousand minerals. Also, you can become a patron of theirs, which costs us 4,000 energy, but gives us monthly unity of plus 15% for 120 months, which seems pretty good, plus 15%. It's going to take us another 14 months to get our next perk. And I think we're going to go for Domination, because that's going to please one of our factions. And unfortunately, we are at zero influence gain. Let us finish Alien... Alien Specimen Procurement. So where's our science ship? We need to learn more about aliens if we ever wish to remain competitive in this galaxy. The scientist doesn't have enough skill. Well, how about that? Maybe you could do it. And what's this here? Yes, research that project as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we have an election coming up. This is excellent. We'll be able to hopefully get another nice 250 influence. So I think we're probably going to stick with Stanislav still. Deep connections, plus one influence, hmm. But you're, you are the leader of Institute of Technology, so we don't want to get you. You know, maybe we want to recruit someone who's leading uh, the Crimson Warrior Lodge, Lodge, maybe, so that faction becomes more popular. Because they are our happiest faction, after all. 
That might be an interesting thing to do, but that would cost us a lot of influence to support this person. Influence that we cannot afford to spend, so we're going to stick with Stanislav, who is a member of the National Investment League. Yeah, that's uh, that's why the damn faction is so popular. Well, they're at minus 25% because of our recent war. We'll have to do something about that, but not right now. System survey complete. So how are... How is the ring world doing? Build a spaceport. Ah, so we got all kinds of people migrating here. This is a... This is just a beautiful site, all the, the full complete squares. Build them some science labs. I mean, look at the science here. This is crazy. It's crazy good. We could actually demolish this uh, slave processing facility. I do not think we're going to have many slaves here. It's going to be all Terrans all the time. Situation log updated. Okay, excellent. Election complete. So let's get on there. Let's get on our way to building some research stations. We need to build four research stations. I'm pretty sure I have ships in, like, preparing to build stuff like that, so maybe we don't even need to worry about it. Yeah, I think, I think it's already queued up, so we'll be fine there. Okay, we can select a new tradition now. Excellent. I think we're gonna... Well, what are we going to do? We're going to dip into domination. We'll get war demand costs to subjugate other empires is reduced by 25% and we get plus 20 acceptance when diplomatically subjugating other empires. Or we can continue with harmony. Mm, eh, eh, I don't know. Diplomacy? Let's go for domination. So that should improve one of our faction's happiness. Uh, yeah, the Terran Supremacy Vanguard. Excellent. Adopting any tradition emphasizing domination will please the Terran Supremacy Vanguard. Construction complete. Excellent. Terraforming is still proceeding. We're halfway done with our terraforming project. Well, okay, so looking around, there seems to be some good news. For instance, the Covenant of Viverva has an equivalent fleet power, or an equivalent naval capacity. So once I fill up my naval capacity, we should have equivalent fleet power, I think. But unfortunately, they have a defensive pact with a glorious Orassium Imperium. So it's like, I'm never... Like, I also, I'd also have to fight the glorious Orassium Imperium, which are, they are equivalent... They have a defensive pact with the combined Valdari states and the Covenant. So, I mean, all, all these people are, like, in bed together. All these aliens. All these evil aliens. It's just ridiculous. I mean, the best thing we can do is expand out our power. Like, for instance, we can upgrade all of our spaceports, continue colonizing, and hopefully we'll be able to make a run on the galaxy eventually. I'm going to have to end things off here today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you next time for more Stellaris 1.5 or 1.6 Adams Utopia. Have a great day.